hey, this is Ken Finn in a Capital Advantage Tutoring, and it's my job to get you past the Series 7. So one thing that pops up all the time, it's not heavily tested, but a lot of the vendors do it, is a collar. A collar, okay? What a collar is, it's actually kind of easy to understand, but it seems scary. Okay, let's get into it. So if you understand the whole thing about, you know what, if you're long stock, you buy a put to protect or sell a call for income, you'll get this. So if I'm long, 100 shares of IBM at 50, right? I own 100 shares of IBM at 50. I'm happy to have it. But what am I worried about? I'm actually worried that the stock will go down, okay? So what do I do? I, you know, I could, I could do other things. I could do a sell stop. I'm going to buy a put. I'm going to I'm gonna buy a put. Okay, so I'm going to buy one ibm it's january so i can do like i'll do like a march 45 put at three bucks so i so right now my break even 53 i gotta make back that three bucks so i spent three dollars but the good thing is if the stock goes below 45 i don't really care it's gonna i'm gonna sell it at 45 and i'm gonna lose eight dollars and how did i lose eight dollars well that's easy if you're if you're if you don't know that how to do that we're in trouble but look we bought stock at 50 it goes to zero. You still get to sell it at 45. So that's a $5 loss. Plus you spent $3 on the stock. So on the option. So that's going to be an $8 loss. We can get that. That's easy stuff. Now, what if I don't want to pay for it? So what I can do is I can, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell one IBM March 55 call. What are you doing, Ken? At three. Wow, okay, so what's going to happen? I'm limiting my upside, so if the stock goes over 55, I have to sell it at 55, so I want to make five here. Okay, so here's what happens. I sell the call and take the premium. I sell the call. I sell the call, take that premium, and use it to buy the put. So now I spent nothing on my protection. So now I gave up some of my upside. Remember, that's the problem with this, is that if it goes above 55, I'm not making any more money beyond that. I'm not losing, but I'm not making more. So I'm limiting myself on the upside at 55. And if it goes below 45, then I, I, I sell the stock at 45. So I'm really getting protection, but selling a call to pay for it. So a collar, this is a collar because you're collaring the stock, right? You're going both sides. You're putting a limit on the outside, but taking the premium. And then you're using that money to buy a put to pre prevent a bigger loss. And it's a this is what they call a cashless collar because you bought in three, you spent three. That's like nothing. So the most you could lose here is five. And the most you gain is five, but it didn't cost you anything to do it. That's a collar. Now, when I was at LaBranch, we, was a, we were a sales trader. We had a guy working there. Literally, his entire job was to find profitable collars. Not this. This is a cashless collar. He would have access to all our customers' positions, which is fine. They all knew it happened. And he would try to find something like this. Try to find where he could sell a call. There was, he was using Delta and all that to make sure he wasn't screwing anything up. And I have a video on Delta if you guys want to watch it. But here's what happened. So we're selling the call for three and a quarter and buying the put for three. So we actually have a net profit of 25 cents. So we're sort of giving ourselves protection and getting paid for it. So, so that was the goal. And, you know, 25 cents is a big deal. But remember something. You're talking if you have 1,000 shares or 10,000 shares, you're not making 25 cents. You're making 250 or 2,500 bucks on a position. So and you just if it doesn't move, you keep the 25 and you can still make money and you can't lose more than five. OK, so in this case, I actually can't lose more than 475. So that's the point of a collar. I don't think they'll go deeper into like break even and stuff like that. But here, the thing, it doesn't matter. In this one, the break even is 49.75. Well, how we get that? Well, if you think about it, we have 25 cents in our pocket, right? So you have 25 cents in our pocket and we spent 50, right? So we spent 50. That's a minus. So because we spent it, you subtract the two since they're different symbols, you're going to subtract it and it's going to be 49.75. So in this case, our break even will be 49.75 because you have money in your pocket from selling the options and you spent 50 since it's a since it's two different things that like a spend and a get, you're going to subtract them and that would be the break even. I don't think the test will do that, but it's good to know. Now let's show you the other side of a collar. Okay, so that's a long collar. That's a collar in a long position. Let's try short. So we're going to sell short. You know, shorting is your bearish. Short 100 IBM, UI, IBM at 40, 40. And I want protection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a call, right? I'm going to buy one IBM March 45 call at two. But I don't want to pay for it. So I'm going to also at the same time, 
I'm going to sell to bring in money. I'm going to sell, which is right short, one IBM, March 35 put for three $2. So what's going to happen is that $2 I get from the premium from selling the put will be used to pay for the from, to buy the put. So I have nothing there that's a cashless collar and it's a short position. So the most I could lose is five, but the most I can make is five. You're giving up your upside. Because remember, when we short stock, we want it to go to zero. But if it goes to zero, I make money. But if I sell this put, once it gets below 35, I'm going to have to buy it at 35. So the most I can make is the five. Now, again, I could do the same thing I did before. Maybe I make this, I sell the put at three. So now, even if it doesn't move, I make a dollar, okay? So now I have a dollar in my pocket. That's a collar. That's all a collar is, is literally just, if you're long stock, you sell a call and use that premium to buy the put. And if short, if short stock, you would sell the put and use the premium to buy the, to buy the call. That's all it is. That's literally all we're doing. It's not a big deal. So a collar is very easy. Just understand the concept. Don't go crazy over it. And wash your hands and check me out every Tuesday and Thursday night, 8.30 p.m., live on the tube of you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>